Let's talk about the basic operations of fractions. Fractions are a form of division. Any fraction a over b is equal to a divided by b. Notice how the division sign looks like a fraction. It is important to remember the top number of the fraction is called the numerator. And the bottom number of the fraction is called the denominator. Here is my fraction, one half. One half times one half is equal to one quarter. Because fractions are a form of division, it is very simple to multiply fractions. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators, or the top numbers, of the fraction. And then we multiply the denominators, or the bottom number, of the fractions. So it is very simple to multiply fractions. The product of any fraction is always the product of the numerators over the product of the denominators. When we take the fraction one-half and multiply that by one-half, the product is one-fourth or one-quarter. So here again is my fraction one-half, and when we take that fraction one-half and divide it by two, we end up with one-quarter. We did that by converting two into two over one. Any number can be converted into an equivalent fraction by placing it in the numerator over one. Well, if we switch the numerator with the denominator, we're inverting the fraction, we're turning the fraction over. And so if we divide by two over one, if we turn that fraction over, it's the same thing as multiplying by one half. So notice, one half divided by two is the same thing as one half divided by two over one, which is the same thing as multiplying by one half. Remember, one half times one half is equal to one quarter. Because fractions are a form of multiplication and division, it's very simple to multiply and divide fractions. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators, or the top numbers, of the fraction. And then we multiply the denominators, or the bottom number, of the fractions. The product of any fraction is always the product of the numerators over the product of the denominators. To divide fractions, we invert the divisor then multiply the fractions. The quotient of any fraction is always the product of the fractions after the divisor has been inverted.